We recently had a look at the Corsair IQ Link RX 120 and in some ways they were performance oriented fans. Corsair removed a lot of the clutter that made the QX120 perform like crap and they actually ended up with a pretty decent result. But there is a next level to this. These are the Corsair RX120 Max and they are like the most base version doing absolutely nothing but perform. They exist in black with a whole lot of black. They are made out of LCP on both the frame and the impeller and this time you can actually see that they are made out of that stuff. But most importantly, they are not part of IQ. Unbelievable, but Corsair still comes out with fans that are not part of the whole IQ ecosystem. These do also exist in 140s, but that's going to be a video for another day. And compared to the RX 120s, they are kind of similar in one way. They share a similar blade design, just a bit pointier at the tip, but from there everything is different. The central fan hub, which still houses a magnetic dome bearing, is about a millimeter smaller. The block-like frame is now built in a more traditional way and the edges of the fan now got two chunky pieces of rubber where the hole is going all the way through, which by the way is very convenient for radiator mountings. But the most important change, this PWM cable. Yes, them not being part of IQ means that we are back to an almost 600 mm long PVM cable, which honestly could have been braided at this price point. You can get them in a single or a triple pack and each of them comes with the fans nicely packaged up in these neat little compartments and a little box containing a bunch of screws. And actually Corsair did a great job here. We got these quick screws that Corsair already included in the RX fans. They are like really really cool. Just like a single rotation to screw it in all the way, I, I really love them. But we also got two types of radiator screws, one for the thicker and one for the thinner thread standard. Somebody thought ahead for once. And I don't know if you have already spotted it in the b-rolls, but this is not a regular 25 mm thick fan. This is a chunky 30 mm boy. And if you combine this with the specs, it's already a very interesting fan. It is spinning at max 2000 RPM, whilst pushing up to 72 CFM at up to 4.2 mm of H2O. And the interesting part is, it is actually not insane. For 30 mm fans, what we are used to is manufacturers just cranking up the settings, cranking up the RPM to get an insane level of performance at the cost of an insane level of noise. See the height thick FP12, because I can see them, I will A roll them in like 10 minutes, or the Fantex T30. But that's not the case here. And for me, that was a weird spot like plot twist after I did all the benchmarks cause in my mind max means like max performance but this is not about max performance sure it might be about max thickness but if you look at a spec to spec basis the RX 120 a 5 mm thinner fan outperforms the RX 120 max in every possible category maybe not by much but it wins and to see what is going on here let's just go to the benchmarks we benchmark fans in two different ways once on our case simulator which is a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle the air within the box and we measure the results by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noctua P1. And for radiators we blow through a 10 FPI 80 mm radiator and measure the performance by calculating the water temperature above ambient. For both of these tests we first measure just full burst max performance and then we slowly lower the fan speed while noting down the noise on each scenario to create a noise to performance curve. Making the RS120 Max spin at full speed allowed it to keep the CPU at 43.1 degrees C above ambient. This still puts it at the top of the chart, even outperforming things like the Fantex M25 or the Noxia NF-A12X25, so it's not a bad fan by, by any means. But it landed behind the Corsair RX120. So what is up here? Noise. These fans are incredibly quiet, like, like quiet quiet. Over on the noise to performance graph for cases, the RS120 Max created a very very good 
noise to performance line. At the highest setting it outperformed the Uni P28 and going down from there it fell into the cluster of ultra good fans like the NFA 12X25. So from start to finish it performed very much like an A12, just like with a little bit more headroom, which then comes at the cost of a little bit more noise. But what about radiators? Pushing at max, we are looking at 11.8 degrees C above ambient on the water, which frankly isn't the best result. It's, it's not the worst either, let's be honest. And funnily enough, it's pretty much in line with the QX120, so average at best. However, on the noise, it's glued to the lines of the best ones out there. And just in comparison, this is the line created by the QX120 craptastic fan, and this is the RX120 Max. There is a whole world in between these, or in between what these two fans can produce if you expect the same results from them. This fan is indeed special. The name might be very misleading in my opinion. Max is, in my head, Max is just always Max performance, but it is, it is just not here. This is definitely more maximum noise to performance because that thing is silent. It is so silent, I'm genuinely thinking about pushing a, a crap ton of these into my next build because I just want them to be, the, the whole thing to be as quiet as possible. However, there still might be a slight problem in my opinion. I already said it in the Oryx review, but the speed ramping on Oryx fans was just severe AF. Well, for the RS120 Max, it's, it's just the same thing. If you bind them to anything, the spikes, it's, 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 it's annoying. And here I see it to be a little bit more of a problem because on the RX 120 Corsair could theoretically smoothen that ramp uh, by using software alone. But for these, they are going straight into the motherboard header. So, what, yeah, of course, you could use like a Corsair Commander or whatever else, like fan controller they are coming out with. And Corsair could do something there, but as long as you are like in the non proprietary software world, like me, it's going to be motherboard control anyway, and there, for example, you, you really can't do anything. Other than that, it's a really simple fan. It's all black, everything being about performance, at minimum noise, and now in the times where fans are getting thicker and thicker, but at the same time quicker and quicker, I get the incentive to, to create something like this. A, a not that much, like, quick fan, 2000 RPM isn't, like, new to the world, uh, but maximizing noise and I, I can see what they did here and I think it's good. Price-wise, it's a bit tough. At 95 USD per triple pack, we are looking at about 32 bucks per fan, which isn't insane, let's be honest here, given what Corsair is capable of doing, and it's a bit more expensive than an A12. So yeah, it's, it's an expensive fan as a whole, but it's not insane anymore. But if you ask me, I like this one, even more than the RX 120. The, the QX was just trash, but I can stand behind this. It's thick AF, and thanks to the LCP, it's built like a freaking tank, like, like this. This, this is a, a hammer disguised as a fan. And the noise to performance ratio is where it should be. But okay, this should be all for the RS120 Max. And at this point, a huge thank you to Corsair for sending them over. And for actually doing a good fan for once. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to teach Corsair the difference between min and max. I, I think somebody doesn't know the difference, and they should know. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Cougar Apola 120 mil fan. They are... they do kind of look like aliens. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.